up guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome so today I decided to do a chit chat get ready with me um you know beforehand excuse any noise where I live at is really loud <laughs> that's for one the apartment I live the apartments I live in are really loud um and then my smoke detector needs a new battery so you're gonna hear that because I'm in the area where it's at so it's gonna be really loud um so excuse that also I have no direction in which I'm going with this video um I don't know what look I want to do this is the first two I'm actually gonna do my brows on camera so yeah let's get into this um i haven't been filming sorry i'm looking down y'all just y'all know these brows but i haven't been filming because i just haven't been inspired um i have i don't know i've just been like am i using the right one of course i wouldn't be um i haven't been inspired to like film or anything I've just been dealing with life so life has been happening and excuse the Spanish version of in my feelings my upstairs neighbors are Puerto Rican and you know they Spanish mix everything no shade but sometimes like let it go um so yeah I haven't been filming because I haven't been inspired. Um, I've been like, I don't know guys, I've been in my feelings, no, no pun, but I've been in my feelings about a lot lately. Um, and it has stopped me from filming. For one, um, my work situation was kind of bringing me down a little bit don't get me wrong I did like the salon setting at first um but then I've grown to not like it so that was the thing yo I love this my left brow I love it my right one I'm not too much of a fan ever but um yeah the salon that I was working in I quit my job by the way <laughs> but the salon that I was working in um it was great you know the owner was great the stylists were great but me personally I don't think I want to work in the salon um and I also just wasn't feeling it um it just I just wasn't feeling it so I kind of quit <laughs> don't just quit like that but I, I kind of quit oh um sorry I'm using the elf brow pencil in the shade deep brown which I shouldn't have used deep brown but my neutral brown was kind of hiding from me and I don't carve my brows out all the time um yeah my neutral this is my neutral brown but I use the deep brown um I don't carve my brows out most of the time Koi's coming upstairs. Here he comes. <laughs> um. So yeah, and then when I do, I use uh my shade of foundation or concealer. Okay, so moving on. All right, so moving on, I am going to prime my face because I can't find my makeup forever. Mattifying primer, so I'm gonna go back to an oldie, um, which is the Elf Blemish Control Face Primer. It's this one. So, um, it's gonna pump a little bit. You know what, guys? I actually haven't been using this, and I may be out. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. So, you wanna sit for the video? You can't talk? Come on. I, um,. What is that? I'm doing my face. Oh. I, that's Koi's head, by the way. I haven't really been, I haven't really been wearing makeup, so, um, my options today, so 
sorry about them but my options today may be like a lot off because i just i haven't been wearing makeup in a while um the last time i wore makeup i think i wore it to school i haven't been wearing makeup like all summer i've gone all summer the end of the winter the end of and all spring without wearing really wearing makeup therefore i haven't been filming makeup videos because i haven't been wearing makeup so next i'm gonna take more elves <laughs> this is not an elf related video just thought i would throw that out there but elf seems to be the main product in my little travel uh makeup kit so i'm gonna take the elf concealer in medium deep which is not medium or deep because this is like well oh, my go team. that way this is like really well, light oh, my team. honestly but i'm gonna use that to prep my eyes for my eyeshadow now i'm not gonna say that this is a new step but it is a new step i'm gonna take i don't know what brush this is this is a brush from um a palette that i got from a girl at empire when i was going to school there um i'm just gonna use this because these are the only brushes I have. I lost all of my brushes and everything in the move when I moved from my mom's house into my apartment. So, yeah. I don't have anything, you guys. It's crazy. But. What you do? I? Yeah. Hi. Okay. Now, I'm just going to add more to this <laughs> eye. I feel like I had more on this eye. Um, what was I saying? I feel like I'm all over the place, first of all. You guys know I normally just film and don't talk. Yeah. But he does so. people keep telling me to interact more. Um, so for eyeshadow. He does so. Okay. For eyeshadow, I'm going to take my Revolution Makeup, Revolution Who's London Palette. That I got from Ulta, and it's the Flawless Three Resurrection, is what it says on the back. This palette was, I believe, it was fifteen dollars, um, and they are neutral shades like this. You know, I live for a neutral palette, so they look like that. And for my transition, trans transition shade, I think I'm going to take this color here. This like brown brickish color and then I'm gonna take um, I don't know which brush I'm gonna take she has so many brushes here and a lot of them are shaped like uh, like um, blending brushes so I'm gonna take that sh shadow shade and I'm gonna put that on my face they had names, but I threw that paper out because, you know, I'm a mess. Um, But, yeah, so, like I said, I don't think salon life um, is for me, which is why I left. Plus, like, I'm not a big um, religious person, but... I'm really big on my spirit like how how my spirit feels about things and right now my spirit was just like not agreeing with me being in a salon and um the salon environment so I kind of just drew back a little bit from it and now I'm no longer doing hair in a salon <laughs> okay so there's a lot of a little bit of fallout with this palette and it doesn't really have a black i'm guessing this shade here is supposed to be the black so what i'm gonna do is go into another palette which has no name actually no i'm gonna do my inner crease first because i noticed when i don't do that i mess up things so for my inner eyelid 
<laughs> yo, when I tell y'all I be making up names sometimes, like I know what, they're, what it's called, but I don't like the color of the gold. So first of all, let me find a brush. Okay, so I'm going to take like this flat brush and I'm going to go in with, I'm going to try, what was it? I'm going to try this shade right here. Um, it's coming out a lot light on camera, but it's not that light. It's actually rather dark. Actually, no, I'm going to go in with this light purplish shade in the corner here. Can you get on my leg? And I'm just going to put that. Now this is very backwards for me and anyone who watches, who's ever watched me do a makeup video know that I never do my inner eye, like the inner part of my eyelid first. I always do my, cause I'm a smoky eye lover. Like I don't care what anyone says to me. Smoky eye looks so cute on me. Um, and it just goes, you know, to me, a smoky eye goes with a little bit of everything. So, um, I smoky eye everything, <laughs> like everything, but I don't know because the way this is coming out off camera, like I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see the way it's coming out. I may not, I may use that, act, like it's a grayish, this color in the corner here. So I may, I'll show you guys, I may, I may use it now. I don't like this palette because it's a lot of fallout. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take another looking like a blender brush. And I'm going to go in with this. It looks gray to me. Um, it may look a little white to you guys because my white is really bright. But I'm going to take that and I'm going to try that on my outer oh, I'm Mommy. Too bad. yes One chair. you can go get your chair okay so that doesn't look too bad I may need to add a lighter a lighter color to um my inner lid color they almost look the same okay so smoky eye with gray is not too bad it's not it's not too bad I like that I think it's cute <laughs> again I have no this direction on my this. Eye. no this doesn't go on your eye it goes on mommy's eyes for girls not boys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with where does I find it? Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used the first time and back into that transition color and just you know bring it back because we did lose some in the midst of I'm liking this and I'm not even done. Now, remember, I'm not, I don't wear eyeliner. I don't know if you guys realize that, but I think the, the my very first, sorry, I'm just blending this out and I'm going to go back in with the, uh, the outer lid color and blend that also. Um, but I don't know if you guys noticed since my first makeup video which was horrible by the way <laughs> but i have not been wearing like eyeliner um and the reason for that being i feel like people are getting like way too crazy with these wing liners and wings stopping all the way back here and all the way up here I, I just feel like they're doing too much plus i'm i don't draw so i can't do all that um I mean, as a makeup artist, I feel the need to, like, you know, practice. 
my wing liners, but me personally, I like my face without them. So I don't. I'm also going to go back in with that purplish color that I said I used in my inner corner because I did lose a little bit of that also. I'm just going to go back and replace some of it. Now, I've never done a look like this, like a, these color, um, I've never done these colors by myself. And I'm doing them right now. I'm liking loves. <laughs> I'm liking loves. Um, this is so pretty. So I'm gonna take, because I have a thousand flat brushes like that, Actually, no, I'm going to finish my face first. So, I like this palette, but it does have a lot of fallout. Like, my pants are covered in eyeshadow fallout. So, this is the eye look. I feel like I'm really far from you guys. But this is the eye look. Ah, my lids are, like, not hooded, but hooded. Once I lose some more weight, oh, my gosh, my face is going to be light. Okay. So... We did that. We did the eyes. Now foundation. See, now I have three foundation options here. You're all finished? No. No. And they are my Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. And this is in the, co the color 28 Clove. Mm -hmm. This is the Clinique. And then I have my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. And this is in the shade... God, what shade is this? This is in the shade number 80. I forget, I don't think they have names, but this is number 80. And then I have my favorite one, my favorite, 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 yeah. is my Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the color 360 Mocha. This one, I believe, is my winter shade. So because I haven't used my makeup forever, in forever, I'm going to use that one today. So I primed my face already. You guys see me do that. I'm just going to draw my little half circles. Whenever I use this one, I'll be like drawing on my face. Um, and I am going to take my as soon as I find it. Okay. <laughs> my real techniques. And this is the buffering brush. I for some reason I love this brush for like foundation. Um to apply my foundation. I don't know why, but I do. Now if I'm not mistaken, I did get this. Uh I always get this foundation in the summertime because I believe this is one of the darker shades that they have and this is my darkest shade so i always get this one in the summer look up my scar because i got the ladies edges now i did my hair last night and i'm such a lazy cosmetologist <laughs> First of all, let's talk about how I got into an argument with someone for calling me a hairstylist because I am not a hairstylist. Um, I am a cosmetologist. Now, as a cosmetologist, I have the options to, yes, this is definitely my summer shade. I have the option to um, do hair, nails, skin, and makeup. And you guys know I always put foundation on my neck. <laughs> See, most people just like drag it down. Me, I just like to be extra and just put a little on the neck. Yeah, on your neck. Yeah, put it on my neck. Um, now I'm not, I'm not just a hairstylist. I don't just do hair. So when people call me a hairstylist, it kind of frustrates me because you know that's not all I do. Um, I don't do nails, but I can if I wanted to. I can give you a basic manicure and pedicure. I don't like feet, so I don't do nails. Um, and I love skincare. That's, ironically, a lot of people love skincare, but 
I love skincare. I um I actually was gonna go back to school to just let me move closer. Sorry. I was actually gonna go back to school to get my esthetician license, but with me being a licensed cosmetologist, I had like I can literally do, do all of it. So I didn't go back to get my esthetician license. I just kept what I have. So I'm gonna go back with the e.l.f. Um, concealer that I used earlier. And you know it's crazy. I've never used the concealer shades that's in the contour kit. Like I have the BH Cosmetics contour kit, and I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, and I've never used. <laughs> I don't know what I just did those two on my cheeks for, but. So I'm going to use my Wet Beauty Blender, and it's clean because it just cleans it because, listen, this thing looked, before I started this video, this thing looked a mess. Um, but I never like to be called a hairstylist because then I feel like I'm limiting myself and I'm labeling myself. Now, I have the option to only do hair, but I don't only do hair. I... I like me I love makeup um and I beat myself up like every every day or every every week when I'm like trying to think of video ideas makeup video ideas but then I feel like the best makeup looks come from when you don't think about them like when you don't sit and plan a makeup look you get a banging makeup look um so that's kind of where I'm about to be at with my makeup videos i'm about to just sit here and go um because my makeup videos and my skincare videos get a lot of love um and i'm very appreciative to those who watch my other videos um you know i'm appreciative to anyone who watches my videos because you guys don't have to watch my videos um so thank you but because i'll be all over the place when i talk which is why i don't talk in a lot of my videos <laughs> But um, I wasn't doing what I wanted to do, like what I love to do. I was just doing hair because at the time of graduation, I was already working in a hair salon doing hair. So I was just like, let me just stick to it. Um, this is what I'm doing. It's not what I wanted to do, but it's what I'm doing. So that's what I did. Very emotionally, very unhappy. Um, but I did try to make the best of it because I know how I can get. So I did try to make the best of the situation and um, do what I felt was best. And then what I felt was best. Oh, I don't like how this looks on camera. I look white and casted, but I'm about to fix that. Um, What I felt was best at the time was not what was best. So, now for powder, I'm going to use the Revolution Luxury Bacon Powder in Terracotta, which was the deepest one that they had because it was either this or like, you know, really, really white that I don't even think, you know, my fair skin divas could use. And I'm going to take the same foundation brush that I used for my foundation. I always do that. And I'm just gonna bake. But yeah, I don't like to be called a hairstylist because I'm not. I am a licensed cosmetologist. Um, but I do want to take my license and do makeup, like focus more on makeup. Um and skincare because without perfect skin well not perfect skin because honestly to me no one has perfect skin but without popping skin your makeup looks whatever okay so i'm gonna to contour because sis got a fat face and we not feeling this so i'm gonna take first i'm gonna take my anastasia beverly hills contour kit and i'm gonna use the deepest shade y'all can tell i use this up right and i'm gonna use that with 
no i don't use this brush i use that brush to blend i'm gonna take my real techniques pointed foundation brush don't ask me why i do this but i do so i'm gonna take the pointed foundation brush i'm just gonna go into the palette my fishy face <laughs> and then Ain't talking money, it's adios. Diamonds have me like rock and roll. I had in my class on the honor roll. It's pen and we pull it the bomb and nose. Snacking him down like diamond. I'm going to his nose because. Nose is ridiculous. Um, fun fact when I was 16. No, when I was 14, I had asked my mom, when I turned 17, can I get a nose job? She looked at me like I was crazy. First, she told me, yeah, and then she looked at me like I was crazy. Um, As I got closer to 17 and I brought it back up, she was just like, girl, can I get in my face? So, I say all this to say, no, I did not get the nose job. So, this is the nose that I was born with, and I hate it. So, I'm going to take... I normally take my foundation brush and like buffer this out, but for the sake of the video today, I'm going to take my e.l.f. I don't know what brush this is, but it's like the angle brush. I'm, I call it a contour brush. It's probably not, but I'm going to just take this brush. And I'm actually going to go into, um, this is something new I'm trying. I'm going to go into the powder foundation, which is the BH Cosmetic Studio Pro Contour Palette. I'm going to go into their deepest shade. Which I'm about, I'm actually at pan with this, so I may have to order another one. But I'm gonna take that one in the powder and buff it. No losses, we bleeding the wind. I'm flexing, we soaking the game up. So let it fuck, can I replace us? Elevate, cause we on our way up. I'm stacking my niggas, go bankrupt. Hits me with the fast talk. You ain't speak my lingo while at the back. Now I'm going to dust off the powder as well as apply powder to the rest of my face. So I'm going to lightly. Like, as I'm wiping this off, I'm kind of using it, like, on the whole face. If that makes any sense. I be feel like a lot of stuff I say don't be making no sense. And again, I apologize. First of all, I see my camera going bright and dark, and I apologize for that. It could be... How close I am to it, which is not really, really close. But, yeah. Um. So so far, I'm feeling this. Like I'm really liking this eye look a lot. So now I'm gonna just go in with my oh L'Oreal Infallible Matte. L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Matte Powder. I'm not sure what the shade is, but yeah, this one I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna use that all over my face because I feel like I look a little orange, which is crazy because I look orange on camera. But if you see this beat in person, it looks good. Looks really good. I haven't worn makeup in so long. Like, I feel like a whole new person. Gara, and I'm going to use the Ofra. It doesn't really have a name, but it was given to us in school, part of our makeup kit for school. So I'm going to use the Ofra mascara so I can prep my eyes for lashes. And then I'm going to put my lashes on off camera after the long fight. <laughs> I got my lashes on. Okay. So. Now that that's done, I'm just going to take. Not good. Watch out! I'm this, going to take the. This. I'm going to take the. I think I'm going to take the inner lash color. No, I'm going to take the transition color, and I'm going to go. Under. Uh, 
Now, the one thing I can say about these shade shadows are that they are they do show. There go. Excuse my son, he's fighting with a bug. Fighting with a bug? Yes, you are. We're not fighting a bug. Alright. We're not fighting a bug. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna. That because once I master my lashes, I've been, I, I had them and then I started struggling for a while. Um. I think I need a little more on this eye. And then I'm going to go into my inner tear duct with, I love gold, so I'm going to use this gold right here. It's not a common call. Big bang bands never fall. Cooking up on a pot of gold. Glow. Till Dawn Festival Kit. And I'm going to use the Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. And it's in, I believe Bright Idea is the shade. Bermuda Bronze is the shade. And it looks like this. So I'm going to use that. There's my highlight. Don't go on boys. And I don't like to use um the fan brushes for highlight, so I'm just gonna use this angry brown brush, um fluffy brush. And then because it was a stick, I'm just gonna go in circular motions and um. Distribute that that way. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's huh? like, hey, and then bam. Hey. My face I still looks a bit. Okay, so shout out to my sis, Ami, for getting me this kit for graduation because, sis, you see that? It's like, I'm cute. And then, like, bam, bitch, you see me? <laughs> and then, what is this? I got an eye pencil and everything. So, now moving on to my lip. Line my lips with the Ofra lip pencil in the shade Spicy. This is the closest I'm going to get to, like, my um, chestnut. Because I don't know where my chestnut for MAC lip pencil is. It's in the shade Soft Spoken, and it came in the kit, so I'm going to try this. <gasps> it's nude. I like this. Oh, okay. Okay, Soft Spoken. I feel like, as a chocolate girl, <laughs> Certain um, mm. certain lip colors just don't work for me, but I like this one. Like I don't think it it's too much. I don't think it's too little, but I am gonna add a little bit more. That's the wrong pencil. <laughs> This is spicy. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more of spicy. Actually, no. I'm going to mix pencils because spicy is a little brighter. So, I'm going to use the Maya lip pencil from Ofra, which is a little bit darker. I'm just going to go. Okay, so. Where's Tita? They're hanging up. Okay, yeah. 
Mommy. So Maya would be Mommy. the pair for this for Mommy. me. Because it toned it down a lot more. Where are your key at? My keys are... I don't know where my keys are. Well, now that I feel like my face is done and I love this highlight, I'm going to take my scarf off. Because, you know, sis was slaying them edges. Where are you Ooh, yes, that looks so cute. That looks so cute. And I'm just going to spray my face with the Mario Badesco Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe herbs and rose water. That's this one. This is the final look. I will list all of the products that I used in the description box below. Hope you guys liked it. What you guys didn't like. Tell me what you did like. Tell me what I can work on. I know the chit chat part I can work on because that was like all over the place. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. My government's yeah. running and running, they got the heat for the streets.